What's up everybody, back at it again with a YouTube tutorial video for you guys. Today we're going to be looking at an extension of our UI menu, the particle system. So, or weather system I guess. So here we have um, some rain that is, uh, it's got collision on, so it's not, it's hard to tell. We'll look at it from a different point of view here in a minute, but it's not passing through any of these objects, so if you had a roof, it wouldn't be coming into your game, which is very nice. And we can see up here our cloud or fog is starting to form. Which looks pretty cute when it's coming in. So yeah, let's um, oh god, take a look at how he puts this together. So if we take a look at my Patreon, you can see we do have different tiers and you'll get to access to different things, pretty standard here. And there are some assets already available for the different tiers. Uh, there will be a lot more coming almost daily for a very long while as I have to go back through previous content and recreate everything and make it you know, perfect for importable and create descriptions for everything and how it works and all that jazz. But there will be a lot of content that is plug and play available if that is what you're looking for. Um, just give you an example of how it works. So this is uh, some of our options we have right now. So let's just say we want different mirrors or sliding glass door. Um, they'll just work, they'll have the textures assigned if they come with textures, uh, that kind of thing. But they'll work, just drag and drop the prefabs and follow the instructions and you can use it as is or hopefully you can reverse engineer it along with the instructions and make something totally unique for your own world and use it however you'd like. Um, so yeah, that is now available. If you have any questions on what that might entail or what it's going to have in the future, just drop a comment in the video and I'll try to get back to you on that as well. So, to begin with, we have uh, our UI menu, which we did in the last video, but we'll take a look, a very quick look at how we did that. We have a wall, we have a canvas that is set the world space with the camera, and we have a VRC UI shape. Next we have uh, a, a button, right click, UI, button. Uh, button that is targeting our particle rain system with game objects, game object selective true boolean, uh, and boolean of false established. So there's an on button and an off button. You could do this in one button, that's just how we set it up. So, yeah, that is how we have um, it toggled, and that means it's off by default, so let's go ahead and turn it on. And there we go. Okay, so what do we actually have for our particle system? We have an empty game object. We have a particle system. And a mist or fog systems and an audio source. So the audio source is for the uh, sound effect of the rain hitting the ground. That's just a simple sound clip played on loop and played on awake. You can use whatever you'd like. Um, <clears throat> now we can start looking at these a little bit. So you can set up your rain however you want. What's important is um, kind of just a few things in here. So when editing your shape, you want to check the shape, and you can edit the cone sized area. So mine's sitting way above, as you can see. 
and it's producing that cone. So if you want, basically if you have, you can see I have 10,000 particles. If I had that in a very small area, it would look like a ton, a ridiculous amount of particles. If I had it over a huge area, it may look like a very small amount. So really how many particles in your limits that you'll set right here under max particles is totally dependent on what you're making, how big it needs to be and things like that, which is why I can't give you um, an exact way to reproduce this because it's going to be dependent on what you're using it for. For the most part. So we have a simulation speed of 0.3, start size of 0.05, and it ends uh, 0.05 to 0.15. Uh, I'll start lifetime of 2, and a duration of 10 seconds. So, um, yeah, the longer the lifetime, the further the objects will go, and the effect if it has a very short lifetime, it will stop further in, or without going as far is a better way. Uh, our emission field, we have our rate over time. Um, so basically how fast the particles spawn. Do, 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 do. We have a cone shape under shape. Uh, we didn't mess with velocity over lifetime or limit velocity over lifetime. External forces didn't mess with a uh, collision you won't want that you're gonna want collision with the world um, I have mine bounce at 0.1 so 10% of its original speed it'll bounce upwards with or whatever direction it hits uh, radius scale is 0.01 and I believe as long as you hit collide with everything you'll be good then of course you will need to render it. Uh, this is where you'll add your material to make it watery or fiery or whatever you're doing. And that's where that is. And then you can ignore this collision script. It's disabled and does not work. It's not meant for VR chat. Okay, so our particle, our mist system, that was our rain system, our mist system is pretty similar. Um, oh yeah, make sure you check looping. We do want it to loop as well. To just play with these particle systems to build what you're making. Um, but here's how they work, essentially. How to get the collision going and all that stuff. It's hard to... Um, exactly give somebody a weather system because they're pretty they're not standard made they're different but yeah so we have empty object two particle systems that do different things and an audio source to go with it and that would be one weather system called particle rain 2 you know particle is spelled wrong up there don't, don't notice that um, and so if you wanted another one, we could add in like thunder on sound or just change like the intensity of this rain to make a lighter rain, something like that, decrease the amount of particles. So it's like not as many, um, raindrops per square inch or something, but yeah, that's how you do a weather system. It's simple to explain, hard to, um, implement. However, if you do want this exact one, I do have it on my Patreon. Uh, but all you should have to do is just go into the prefab folder, grab Particle Rain 2, drag it onto your scene, and enable it. Simple as that. to uh, get some use out of this and 
implement a particle system based on a UI menu, well, drop me a like, comment, subscribe, something like that. Special thank you to all my patrons, James, Angel, Mr. Fox QC, and Morton. Seriously, you guys are awesome. Thank you very much.